Hey everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. This is still Dex, and we are still getting to the bottom of the global super conspiracy of why we're important. Um, we're looking for a guy named Redman who lives in a trailer in this junkyard, scrapyard heap thing. Oh, those are mines. Ha! Did you think I wasn't expecting you? I'm ready for you! All of you! Uh, Why, who the hell are you? Get off my property before I shoot you off! Um... I'm not trouble, I just need to talk to you. Chat! Uh-huh! Interrogation and manipulation, oh misinformation and lies! You can tell him I'm immune now! Got me a Class A, military-grade bullshit vaccination! <laughs> now last chance, get off my keep! Decker sent me your friend. People want me to do Decker. Huh. Guess he would know where to find me. So, Dex was it? What do you want? And quietly now, it's not just me that has ears. Wow. All right. Um, I know you to sign the security system at Redwood Watts. I need to get in, and I need your help. Then you'll know too how it feels to be blamed for your work malfunctioning. For being the guy that killed all those people, when not a face in the world has anything but a sneer for you. You know that? Do you? They framed me. I don't do accidents. The faceless bastards stop at nothing. They don't get the looks, the eyes. They hide. It's us that are naked. I'd sooner unload a 12 gauge in my face than have anything to do with them again. And you can't make me. Okay, pull it together, Richmond. Please. If you've got nothing left to lose, then help me, because there's a lot I can use from you now. I spoke to Miss Prowski. I know all about Redwood Watts. All I need is your help to disable its security. What? You spoke to Miranda? What are you doing trusting her? The witch will make you build your own stake to burn on. She was the one that brought me down. She brought all of us down. All for a buck and not even a goodbye. She doesn't know where I live, does she? You didn't tell her. She'll send them for me. Damn it, what have you done? Calm, I told no one. You said Miranda, did you know her personally? She was my wife, you idiot. You heard it. My own wife watched me burn. Tossed the match Shoot. on me herself. They got her to snatch my access codes, system plans, all of it. How else could they fabricate the evidence? Evidence she pulled in court from her own briefcase that I bought her! Alright, you were having a rough time, and I respect that. But take a look at these emails. She seems that she didn't have much of a choice. What? What? Where did you get them? Oh, oh, let me see. She did, didn't sell out? Is that what this means? She was trying to protect you. She's kind of a jerk, but she was trying to protect you. <laughs> they, they left her no choice. But why? How did I not see it? She was so convincing. I had no idea. Oh my gosh. Ah, how did I not trust her? Fool. 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 All right, you need to calm down. Anyone yeah, would have thought no, the same I'm not thing. Not anyone. Okay. Me. Okay, fine. Okay, I, I, all right. I'll help you. Make them pay. What do you need? An in. Okay. I can. I can hack the system. As long as my zero base architecture is still the same, I programmed a back door for myself. I doubt Crash will have found it. All right, uh, then what kind of defenses can I expect? There's a facility-wide recognition system. You don't even need to be face-wrecked by a camera. Just step foot in there and the sensors trigger the alarm. But I can disable it. What about any areas that need special access to get into? Question mark? The ST levels, subterranean. Security access is tri-factor. Three key cards split between three key members of staff. The head researcher, chief safety officer, and the chump who took my job. You'll have to find each of them and take their card. 
I'll leave it to you to figure out how, but it's going to be more than just a matter of busting heads. All right, so what's my next step? Genius or not, I'm going to need time to disable the recognition system. Why don't you try and find out more about those key card holders? Any okay. info can only help. Now, I know one of the three, the security guy, an old friend of mine. All right, let me get great news, Blue. Seems we'll be able to get you in there safely. Well, kind of safely. And Richmond's right. You should dig up what you can on the key holders. Find dirt on them. And there, it could be gold. Tony's already ID'd the chief security officer. Guy named Mitchell Bryan. Drop by and we'll give you the lowdown. As for the head researcher, a woman, Elizabeth Sterling. We got nothing on her yet. Maybe Miranda knows her? Now, when you feel you're ready, come to me and we'll prep you for the mission. Alright. Aw. Picture of... Aw, look at them. They used to be so cute back when they had hair. I don't know. I just seemed like the right thing to do. Okay. Um, let's get back on task here. Let's... What was zip-zapping right there? Oh, my charged fists. Yeah. Alright, um... Let's go talk to Miranda, I guess. I really do respect about this game. One of the things that I really like is how close together everything is. Like, if it, you are backtracking and you are going through all these areas, but, like, it's not that bad because you can quick travel to the greater area. And, like, here, I'm already talking to Miranda. Well, I will be at some point. <laughs> I bet you she's still in this apartment. And, all right. Hang on out, huh? It's you. Look, you really need to stay away. You're gonna draw attention. You know what? I spoke to your ex-husband, Richmond. He's gonna help me break into Redwood Watts. Richmond? You saw him? Where is he? I didn't know if he was dead or alive. <laughs> He's doing great, don't is worry. He, okay? he has a few trust issues, as you can imagine. But who doesn't these days? So I made the right call. He must hate me. But I needed him to. If I'd refused or failed, they would have killed Rich. I had no choice. Just one choice. Now, Miranda, I love you, but the reason I didn't give you his location is because I don't know how clean you are. You're pretty dirty, and they might even have listening devices right here, so I don't want them to find him. But now... Ugh. You have no idea how much I needed to hear he's fine. And with me living like this, I have nightmares sometimes, you know? That he's alone, poor and alone. He's wild, that's for sure. You'd think I got the good end of the deal. But trust me, I live in fear as much as he does. I keep hold of my puppet strings like they were pins on a hand grenade. It's all I can do just to stay alive. Uh-huh. Okay. It's Richmond's help I need right now. Oh. After all these years of my trying to keep him safe, he's right back in it. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I need to find a Redwood Watts head researcher, Elizabeth Sterling. She has a key card. I know, Ellie. Yes. Met her a couple of times. Brilliant. Charming young woman. Modest, too. I remember her mentioning she was an AI specialist. And yes, she does work at Redwood Watts. I've never understood how good people end up in their ranks. We all have our own stories, I guess. But if you need to meet her, I think I have her contact. Nice. She was a key witness at a trial I worked for Samuel recently. Let me see. We're here. She lives okay. next to the Eden restaurant on the Afterlight Boulevard. 
But with a job like hers, you're more likely to find her at the Redwood Watts Labs. Thank you. That's not terrible. Well, that's a nice lead. Um, let's go talk to Elizabeth, then let's see what Tony has found on that other guy. And then we'll go back to Richmond, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna give him some time to cool off. He was a little bit heated last time we hung out, so it's probably for the best to give him a break. Oops. I have 25 stim packs. Do you know how disgusting that is? But that's what those 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 chemicals are really well used for. Um, Afterlight Boulevard is. Oh, I could hack those for like 50 bucks. Oh, they're already hacked. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's go here because I don't actually have to quick travel unless I actually <laughs> need to go further than one screen. Um. Okay. And so she's gonna be up here somewhere. Above Eden. Oh, I already hacked some of this. Yeah, I already, well, I already cleaned out this apartment a while ago. Do we have her key card already? Like, did I steal it as part of all the stuff I stole and I didn't even know? So let's just see here. No, I don't have any key cards at all. All right, so. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, this is the the person who had the who had the basically yeah, had the lab accident. Um, all right, so that's about all we can get on her for right now. Let's go talk to Tony and Decker. That is not where you find them. Well, I tried. Try this. Um. Okay, what you got for me, Tony? Hey, Dex, what's up? Okay. Decker, hey, what Dex, you got for me? What's troubling you? What can you tell me about this Mitchell guy? This chief safety officer? Intel on Redwood Watts isn't exactly raining down, but we know they've hired a whole Army Gear sec reg to protect the premises. Mitchell leads. Facilities de facto chief safety officer. If Richmond's right, Mitchell will have one of those key cards. But the man basically lives in a Redwood Watts facility, so a street jump in the city won't work. All I've got on him is he's a veteran, served in the Army for a few years before going contract. There's word that his discharge from the Army was messy. Something happened. His file's classified, probably Army gear. But if I dig past the red tape, it'll draw heat. Need to hide what we're up to. Best bet, find someone who knows him. Someone ex-military. Hey, maybe Hank will know something. Old friend of mine, owns a gun shop near the Chinese gate. Yeah, no, I know all about Hank. I've visited him. He's, he's actually my favorite toothless bullet merchant. Um, let's go. Okay. Hey, buddy. How do you, Purdiness? Um, what you calling for today? You're in the army, right? Remember a man called Mitchell? Something strange about his discharge? Something strange. Got that right. Sure, I remember. And one of my men I forgot. But this one stuck in my recollection for different reasons. In Pakistan, 2021, his squad got caught in a chicken shoot, mountain ambush, near old head. A couple days later, he flips, gets to torture and killing POWs, wanted back at the whole damn race. Then he shot down my lieutenant and two more for trying to stop him. That were what I couldn't forget. Come tribunal, sure enough I was witness, but his lawyer real shifty, got him off on a PTSD plea. That's Dishonorable not great. discharge, no veteran benefits. That's it. For killing three of my men and a good many more that didn't have dying coming. Why are you asking? You got some beef with him? <laughs> you could say that. He works for Armor Gear. He's gonna, you know, be in my way. Got anything I could use against him? Hmm. Well, never thought I'd see myself assisting against my own. But if he's Armor Gear now, he ain't my own no more. That's right. All right. I kept me the trial records. Never throw out a thing. Let's see. I got a psyche vial. You can give that a read. Real messed up was Mitch. The PTSD were real. Pathological guilt, denial, the lot. Wonderful. Oh, I'll wager that'd be interesting. 
CCTV footage from the prison cells they used in the trial of Mitch's murdering and torturing. Plain forgot doing half of it, he did. Showing him that there footage might shake him up some. Rough. Well, you gotta turn every screw you can. Let's go back to the Barons and talk to Redmond. Simply because he said to come back later. So, let's come back later. We've got, basically, we know that none, nobody's going to be leaving the facility that quickly. Or that frequently. So all we got to do is know how to turn the screws on them. And we've got as much as we can on Elizabeth. She just seems like a good person, kind of. Um, hey, Tex. Still busy with the defenses here. Strange being on the outside coming in, I tell you. Not sure what's harder. Anyway, you need something... <sighs> yeah, you said a friend of yours might be holding one of those key cards. Can you tell me more about him? Never more of a pleasure. Where do I start? Well, after the trial shut us down, the complex took over Redwood Watts. They needed someone to fill my boots. Someone with my skills, but without the scruples. Someone who could make sense of what I'd programmed. Of how my system worked. Uh-huh. Where did they look first? To my buddies, of course. Buddies indeed. I never would have guessed who they'd land. Crash, a top-notch hacker. Oh, fearless. And as good as Decker. He hung out a lot of big-wig dirty laundry back in the day. We'd spar online together. I'd ask him to test my walls for exploitables. No one better at it. And I envied him. He had balls, integrity. I was a cog in the machine doing the nine to five. He was out in the rain, a truth-sayer. You lose a piece of you when an ideal falls away. As soon as Samio took Redwood Watts, the complex offered Crash my old job. The Judas jumped at it. Not a qualm, and not a damn for everything he knew I'd lost. Some paragon of integrity, huh? Well, that's Crash. Tough break. How do you think I should handle him? Well, you'll need to do a little digging first. Might need to leave your ethics at the door for this one. Crash made a lot of enemies back in his hacker days. All right. Powerful ones, as you'd imagine. He had to keep his world self well hidden. I didn't even know who he was. Guess the complex did, though. If you can somehow find out his real name, sure as hell you could use that as leverage. He'd part with his own mother to hold on to that mask. Now, I uh, did go to one of his hideouts once, and not many can say that, trust me. It was one of a bunch he had, for sure, but this one was by the Chinese gate, above that shoddy karaoke joint. Might be able to find something out there. And if you do, be sure to let me know. You got it. Let's take a peek. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Um... I think we gotta go up here. <laughs> Why don't we try that again, this time with less feeling. Um, okay, let's go this way, let's go this way. Let's go up here, let's go over here. Are there more buildings this way? Yeah, I thought so. Oh shoot, that's right. I completely forgot about this place. Oh man, you guys up to take a detour? Okay. <laughs> wow. I am still bad at this game. Oh, let's go in that base. Let's go fight some cedars. I completely forgot about this area. I had probed into it a little bit before, but I hadn't actually gotten anywhere. And then I decided I would come back when I was spliced up, and now I am heavily spliced up. One could even say I am V-spliced. Um, so let's do this a little bit smarter than the way I was just doing it. Um, let's save here, just in case we do die again. Then... Stop this. 
just need you to not be here anymore, Lurch. God. Okay. Oh. Cause like I can take the I can take the crowbar guy and the machine gun guy at the same time, but I can't take all three of them because uh, when I'm blocking, Lurch can break through it, and that's really rough. Let's just chill. So now... Nope. Nice. Sam Nicholson's parcel. Hey, I know Sam. All right, I'll take her parcel back to her. That's not a problem. No big deal. Um, let's save again, even though I just did. All right, in we go. Sneak, 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 sneak. All right, let's see who else we got in this building. There's got to be more bad guys here. Maybe not. Huh, all right. Well, take everything that isn't nailed down. A gun store parcel. Dude, are the Cedars just like a gang that steals mail? Is that what it is? Like, because they have had a lot of parcels so far. This warehouse is very familiar to the one that I was in before. Like, functionally very identical, despite the location of it just being completely different. Huh, all right, well. No, wait a darn minute. No, it is, it's the same damn thing. There's the bridge I blew up. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Neat. Um, and so, I could have... Well, I guess, like, that wasn't there, maybe? But, like, I definitely didn't know how to get out of here at the time. Will you stop this, please, Dex? Thank you. You're embarrassing me. What is this? Oh, interesting. Aguila strike again. Biofarm truck delivery truck pillaged crack of the dawn yesterday morning a bio farm tech truck was stopped on the road by an alleged aquila members she did incapacitated driver and steal all of the food contained inside the brutal assault only lasted a couple of minutes leaving passers-by unable to react or counteract or contact the authorities at the time the driver who wished to remain anonymous was visibly shaken and gravely injured trauma caused by this gratuitous aggression will no doubt both severe and lasting such attacks and thefts from the aquila been more and more frequent in the last months. Despite pressure from the affected corporations, the authorities have yet to find a final solution to this problem. We've tried being civilized. We've tried playing by the rules. But if these outlaws keep putting our employees and business at risk, we may have to rethink our approach. Ominously declared an anonymous disgruntled CEO. Huh? Who the oh, hell are hey, you? Hey, Cypher, I've heard you. Please. I don't hurt well, okay? It, it, gives, me, it gives me pain. You're the guy in charge here? Yeah, what of it? Uh, I mean, I'm not part of the Cedars. I'm their guest, but I take care of in bed, um, stock taking and all. They don't seem the hospitable type much. It's just a co-op, uh, collab, we're, we're partners, all right. I, I'm not from this here part of town. I'm with the Aguila, and I've been chosen as their ambas uh, ambada. ambassador. Ambassador? Ambassador. But I'm not like them. Leave fighting to the fighters, my pa used to say. I know you and Lorraine are smuggling biofarm food. But this vial was with Lorraine and I had it analyzed. What? What? Lorraine got... got to do with me. I don't know what... Uh, what's... that's got to do with me. I know you and Lorraine are smuggling food. What's, what's that about? What about... What? Smuggling? What's that? I'm an employee. Oh my god, I work guy. for Biofarm Tech. D they give us free stuff. It's for charity. Head of distribution is me. Means I make sure that the food goes to the right mouths. That's a quote there. Uh, my people, the, the Aguila, that they're the right mouths. Y you know? Them poor folks who's always getting bad press. Lorraine takes the deliveries, checks it's good, then sends it to me for district oh, giving man. out. Why are you acting like I done did something wrong? I'm out of here. Dude, you don't know. Oh. Hey.
<laughs> uh... Oh, hey, it's you. What's that incident all about? What? How? Are you allowed to be reading other people's emails? Th the incident was nothing but hee-haw. Their driver got rattled when our Aguila rattled his truck is all, shaking it for food. And I just wrote a kindly letter to Mr. Bio Farm Tech to say sorry. Thought to show some consider... to be nice, you know? Done an awful lot for us, they have. Alright, come on, Seaver. If the picture were any clearer, you'd be hanging in a gallery. Just admit what you're doing here. Oh... I'm not doing nothing wrong. Oh my god. I, I, I got me a job at Biofarm Tech is all. Feeding us Aguila. They caught hold of me a while back. They said I'm a resore, uh, a smart guy. And they give me a real job. I'd have me a life like them on TV. <sighs> You're willing to kill your own people for a clean bed and a paycheck? I weren't killing no one. Leave fighting to the fighters. I was giving out food is all. The food is poisoned, bud. I don't have to be thinking about it. They told me I don't have to be thinking about it. No poisoning in my job description. I looked, I asked, I just give food. Head of district, giving food. The Aguila, they think I'm someone. Call me friend. Thank me that I'm feeding them. Sometimes they shake my hand. <sighs> Seifer, what is Biofarm Tech doing here? Lorraine says it's because you can't take a toothbrush to a mop job too much dirt. That, that's why Biofarm Tech give Aguila charity dinners. She says their scientists cooked up a virus for the cleaning. They give the food to her and she makes it good for the cleaning. Me, I just take the clean food to the Aguila. Clean? Oh, uh, no, we're not, we're not going to call you the worst kind of dumb. We're just going to say you've been used in the worst way. But I'm head of distribution. Got me a room moon a, a paycheck. Are you gonna kill me? You're thinking to, aren't you? I can tell. Listen, listen, man. I got a better idea. You're gonna go public with this and testify against Biofarm Tech. Testy what? I'm telling you, you can do something good like those people on TV. Let's break it down for them. Yeah? Good sounds good. Good is good, Seifer. So what do you want me to do? Go to the Nightingale, tell my friend AJ I sent you, and tell her your story. All right. Good is good. Thanks, Seifer. All right. That's amazing. I completely stumbled into this, but this is perfect. I'm going to go finish that quest off. I am stoked. All right. That makes me very happy. Um, let's go. Hey, AJ, what do you think of them apples? You're back. Our pliable friend here just told me the whole story. Can't believe it. Whole new kinds of messed up. Right? But so, so huge. Isn't it awesome? Let's blow it wide. I wish I could say hell yeah, girl. But Seifer's testimony is a ticking bomb. Him and I may as well paint circles on our butts. I'll have to play this just right. At least it's harder for them to stage two deaths than one. I wish I were joking. And old Seifer's gonna need some serious media training. But he'll do fine. Won't you, you big goon? Sure will. We're gonna expose a conspa consp conspiracy. Nailed it. You okay? You're all right, Seifer. I I take back the mean things I said about you. You're nice. Hey, Dex. It's gonna take a while before we're ready to go public with this. Got some whole. All right. Howdy. Sorry, real busy. Prepare uh, getting things ready with Miss AJ. Getting along all right with AJ? She talks real fast, but she's nice. She said I gone got myself used. That it ain't my fault. Just do it like it's on TV, Seifer. You'll be fine. Good luck is good. Love you, buddy. Howdy. Sorry, real busy. Prepare. Uh, I... Good luck. 
That's amazing. All right, that's super wholesome. Okay, so I'm about ready to jump into the Redwood Watts facility, but I really don't want to do that yet. Let's head back to Tony's and let's call it a day. I think that emotional high is a perfect place to end. <sighs> I feel good. Uh, can't wait for that to go public. I mean, I know they're going to have some trouble, but and there might be more to that quest, but we got to the bottom of it. And honestly, Seifer was a good person, or at least a simple person, who was being taken advantage of. And honestly, I'm okay with that. It's better than the crappy people being crappy. So, <sighs> this was Cyberpunk TV. You have been wonderful. I was playing decks. I'll see you all next time.